who are you? Thinking big, financial freedom, buying cash flow and assets. That's not you. At least your family don't think so. Your friends don't think so. They said you couldn't do it. They said you wasn't the person who earned the right to build family wealth. They said you wasn't the person who had the skills necessary to really create financial freedom for yourself. Well, in this episode, I want to give you the exact blueprint on how you could actually build family wealth the same way I was able to do $20 million in less than two years. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this episode. I've been in the business nine years. Commercial real estate investor. See, most of us, we losing our own blessings because we want to get the whole pie. We want 100% of nothing. I got business, credit, real estate. Got some assets on the market from recession up to date. I got business, credit, real estate. Yo, I need to become more effective in less time. If it takes you 30 years to do something, I need to do it in five. I'm not trying to wait time 30, 40 years in and retire, get a pension, then go get a second job and now work. No, I'm not I doing it. LLC, you gon' need an EIN. You get verified online. A few more steps, you be right in. Get your headset in the game. We gon' need you to buy in. Execution is the loophole with the strings that we tie in. This episode is an episode that you do not want to miss. You don't want to blink. You don't want to go to the bathroom. You want to stay locked in. And I say this because this episode, I want to share with you how I started and how I was able to overcome imposter syndrome how I was able to overcome family and friends telling me what I wouldn't be, how I was able to overcome an environment that was not built for me to succeed. And I'm sharing this because I'm pretty sure there's somebody that's watching right now that they're struggling in the environment that they're in right now and they don't see another way. And I wanna share with you this one thing, this simple thing that changed everything for me is when I realized that I only know what I know. And I don't know what I don't know. Does that make sense? I just want you to think about that. I only know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. The reason why you are not as wealthy as you want to be because you do not know what's out there and what people are doing to become wealthy. You only know what you've seen. You only know what your family have shown you. You only know what you've been subjected to and exposed to. But in this episode, I want to expose you to an entirely new world of how we build wealth and we do it higher, not harder. We don't, we don't want to work hard. We want to work high and understand that we can get paid from the neck up. I want, I want y'all to understand that. See, when you get paid from your fingers, you get paid from the neck down, that means you're doing the hard work, right? You want to do the, the hard work, what's in your heart. And what comes from your heart, it actually speaks to your, to your, to your mind. And you're able to articulate and communicate. So that's what I want to do in this episode. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I've been spending hours underwriting this deal. Are you spending hours underwriting your commercial real estate deals too? You are spending so much time with spreadsheets and implementing formulas and key terms and it's just a lot where you can't even get to the number that you need to make a profitable decision so that you can make an offer. I know because this is a problem that most of us face as commercial real estate investors, but it's no longer a problem because I had the solution. I built the number one system that's gonna help you save yourself significant time, energy, and money. The Mogul Deal Evaluator is here to help you underwrite and evaluate your deal in less than 60 seconds, yes. In less than 60 seconds, you can gather the information and put it inside the tool and now have the number that you need to make that offer, that magic number to get you to the closing table so that you can close deals that much faster. You can do so much with this tool. For those of you that's looking to syndicate deals, you can actually gather the information from your general partners and raise the capital and it'll show you how much you should distribute to your partner so that the deal is profitable for everyone. It's so much that you can take advantage of it. I want to give you an opportunity to take advantage of this tool. So go to moguldealevaluator.com, make sure you register and create your account, and I want to see you at the closing table. It's time for us to close deals that much faster and build wealth for our family that much faster. I'll see you at the closing table. And I want to start with telling you a quick story about when I first got started in real estate. For those of you that do not know me and you're new to the channel, my very first deal, I had a six-figure deal. I made $157,000 net. But before I made that money, it took me three years to actually close that deal. I started in 2014. And 
it was all because I seen a video on YouTube just like this of another person that looked like me that was sharing information on real estate and how they made all of this money by buying properties. And I didn't know about this. Again, I only know what I know. And I don't know what I don't know. But when I seen somebody else doing it that exposed me to it, I invested immediately. So I invested to learn what was this person doing. And that's what most people don't do. They don't invest because they have ego. They got more pride than money. Like, it don't even make sense to me. So many people have a pride of, I don't want to ask this person to teach me, but that person can show you something on how they've been able to do it. Now you can get to that goal even faster. So I immediately invested. And when I invested into this mentorship, I started to learn deal syndication. I started to learn how to create the ultimate credit profile. I started to learn how to go to the banks and get funding. I learned an entirely new world of finance. And I took these financing strategies and I brought it to my family, right? And I was like, hey, grandpa, I got this deal on the contract, right? It's a two family brownstone. It's $590,000. This is a real life thing. Two family brownstone in Brooklyn. I got it under contract for $590,000. And when I went to my granddad and I said, hey, can you invest? I learned these new financial strategies where you can go to the bank and you can go get funding. I could put you on an operating agreement. You know, I was telling him all these cool things, but because I have not accomplished it yet, he didn't believe me, even though I was learning it and I was bringing it to him to be able to help execute on the plan. But because I did not accomplish what I was sharing, he didn't believe me. And what he told me was, hey, son, start small. He told me to start small. $590,000 house, that's way out of your league. That's too much. Go buy a $30,000 house. Go buy a $40,000 house. Start small. If I would allow my granddad, and I love him. I know he loved me, and that's why I had to learn that it's people around you, and they're going to put their fears and opinions on you. They're going to put all their failures and what has happened to them, and because they love you so much, they're going to tell you to start small. Not because he didn't want me to win, it's because he didn't want me to fail. He didn't want me to lose, but then you got to realize that somebody not wanting you to lose doesn't mean that they don't want you to win. I want you all to understand that. So I still love my granddad and I appreciate him. But if I would have listened to him, I wouldn't be right here speaking to you in this video, teaching you how to build $20 million in family wealth. So I kept on going. And I found other mentors that was actually doing what I wanted to do. Again, you don't know what you don't know. So I went to over 50 real estate meetups. You can go on eventbrite.com, right? And this is free stuff. You don't need any money to do this. Go on eventbrite.com and type in your city your state, and you can put in free real estate events, free content creation of events, free commercial cleaning. I don't care. Whatever your industry is, there's somebody in your area doing something free, but you just don't know about it. Well, go on eventbrite.com, and I actually went to over 50 real estate meetups. And by the grace of God, this is how it works. It's just so amazing. I end up coming across a lady who became my mentor. She was old enough to be my grandmother. She was in the business 30 plus years. But she seen my drive, she seen my hustle, she seen my passion, and I was talking about this deal that I got on the contract, and I was talking about these financial strategies. And again, she believed in me because I was speaking a language that she understood because I was in mentorship learning this. So that was the lesson in this. You gotta speak the language to people that understand it. If I go to China and I'm speaking a different language, I'm not speaking what they speak, they're not gonna understand it. The problem is a lot of you are getting information and you're going to your family, your friends, the people off the block, and they don't understand it. Don't speak to them. They're not here for you yet. You got to go and get around new people. Make yourself findable to people that understand where you're going. And she understood that. So when I talked about business funding, when I talked about deal syndication, when I talked about all of these strategies that I learned in mentorship, she immediately understood it. She said, look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a phone call to one of my investors that I've been working with for years, and I want you to sit down with him and show him this deal. Again, you don't know what you don't know. So because I was able to get out my own comfort zone, she connected me to this guy, I sat down, and I showed him the deal. The deal made sense immediately. He said, look, I'll partner with you. I'll put up the entire $590,000. You don't gotta put up no money. I said, whoa, these strategies are starting to work because my mentor was teaching me in this training that I paid for online and he was telling me how to do deal syndication and creative financing. You don't got to put no money out of your pocket. And when it, it sounds too good to be true. 
It sounded too good, but it only sounded too good to be true because I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. But I now found myself in a situation because I went on faith and I followed the blueprint. This investor partnered with me, put the entire $590,000 up. I put no money out of my pocket. That same property, we put $40,000 in renovations off a business credit card, put it back on the market, sold it for $1.2 million. I made six figures in real estate, my very first deal, 25 years old, walked away from the closing table after my commissions, after my fees, liens, bills, everything that you could think of, $157,000 at 25 years old. I got a check. I go to the bank. I deposit that check in the bank. You know what the bank teller says? Hey, Mr. New Worlds, I never had a bank teller ever call me by my last name. I never had a bank teller ever introduce me to a money market savings account. I never had a bank teller ever talk to me about setting up private time so that they can invest in Merrill Lynch and different investment vehicles. Never. And I'm sharing this because, again, you don't know what you don't know. That's the thought. That's the that's the theme that I want you to really follow because most people are held back in life because they think they have it all figured out. And look, for me, the minute that you stop learning is the minute that you stop earning. So many people think they're supposed to, look, it's not supposed to make sense because if it made sense to you, you would already be doing it. Does that make sense to you? All right, right? So look, $157,000, I got this money and this birthed a new idea which is called Family Legacy Meetings. And I teach and train thousands of students how to get the most out of their family legacy meeting, how to build wealth with their family. I'm going to break down the blueprint for you. So when I got this money, this changed. Everybody that I was speaking to of my family and friends who said that they didn't believe in me and I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that, I didn't earn the right. Well, now I earn the right because I got a proof of concept. I have real cash that I can show you that I made in one deal that it would have took you five years at your job to make. How are you going to tell me that I'm not that person? Well, I am. So most of you are talking to people and you haven't even proved it to yourself. Go do the work first and then people are going to catch up. And it's okay when they do catch up, you get them a tag. It's time to pay up. You know what I mean? I was being real. They hit me up like, yo, Mogul, yo, can you share this some game? Look, you got to pay to be in my mentorship. You can't even book on my calendar because my time is too valuable. I'm sorry. But that's your fault because you wasn't listening four or five years ago when I was trying to put you on. It is what it is. You got to be okay with that process. But I started this family legacy meeting and I brought my cousin, um, my wife, my sister, my brother-in-laws, my brother, his girlfriend at the time, um, everybody in the family because I refuse to be the family bank. I realized that once you start making money, then everybody starts to ask you for money. The phone calls is not even about, hey, how are you doing? The phone calls is, hey, can you cash at me? Hey, can you sell me? Hey, I'm in a hole. Everybody calling you because they got a problem, but they don't realize that you got problems too. But that's a different conversation. So I said, I want to make sure I put y'all in this room so we could talk financial literacy. We could talk strategy so that I don't be the bank and we could build our own family bank. And I had two requirements. If you do not pass these two requirements, you're not invited to the meeting because we got to make sure we got the serious and not the curious. All right. Not here to be entertained. We want people that's going to implement. All right. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you make it mandatory that every person that shows up to the family legacy meeting, they need to make sure that their credit profile is pulled up. So I send them a link. They go and open up their credit profile. It's completely free. So it doesn't cost you nothing. All right. The second thing is you need to make sure that you get an LLC. Everybody that have their credit pull in the LLC. If you don't get those two things then you're not even ready to be at the meeting, we got to make sure we set some boundaries. We have to make sure that we put some things in place to make sure that we are getting the right. The, the cream rises to the top. All right. So now we have the family legacy meeting. I have everybody fill out a budget and now they are able to track their money because if you if you can't be the CEO of you, how are you going to be the CEO of a business? And you need to know where your money going. You need to know, are you profitable? You need to know, are you negative? A lot of y'all negative. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. I, I, that was me. I was negative for a long time, but I turned into a positive. I'm up now. I want you to do the exact same thing, all right? So I have everybody put up their credit profile, and then we now see who can we put on the, on the operating agreement, who has the best credit, and we now got to strategize. My cousin, he had an 800 credit score and didn't even know it. He's just a responsible person. He pays bills on time. He go to work 50, 60 hours a week. That's his thing. But as a visionary, as a leader, you got to see how do I put people in a position to win? Like, I'm a coach in real life. The reason why I'm a coach is because 
I know how to play the game. And I'm a coach because I've been coached. So God is the ultimate coach, and he put me in the game and said, this is how we're going to play the game. you got to have this person play the point guard, that person play the shooting guard, this person will be the center. I know how to put people in position. So my cousin, you got good credit, you're responsible, you pay your bills, you don't know about investing yet because that's not your lane. Well, I'm going to put you on the operating agreement of my already established business that has two years of history, already made money, and now we're going to go apply for funding. I got him $45,000 in business funding in 24 hours. One credit card. Chase Unlimited credit card. $45,000. So now guess what? We got proof of concept. We are now building believers because we see what's happening in real time. Hey, I know you're loving the episode right now, but I need to ask you a really, really quick question. What's more important to you than money? Is it freedom, spending time with your family, traveling the world, building a better relationship with God, spending time with your kids? What is it? The reason why I'm asking that because most people think that money is everything when money is just a tool. Money is the tool to help you get the things that you really love. And luckily for you, I built the number one most affordable wealth building community that teaches you how to get access to capital, how to utilize the money as a tool to get the things that you really want and deserve. And that community is the Mogul Elite Club community where you're going to learn how to pay off your debt, how to get access to capital, how to clean your credit, buy assets, and so much more for less than a dollar fifty per day. So what I want you to do is text the word elite to 347-429-6496. That's elite to 347-429-6496. And I'm going to see you in the number one wealth building community. Let's get back to the episode. So now I take that money. I say, yo, cuz, I don't want to just have this 45000 sitting. We got to flip it. It's time for us to reinvest. So the $45,000, I end up marketing and we got a deal on the contract. This was a couple years ago. We got a single family under contract. No, it was uh, not a single family. It was a duplex under contract. $80,000 that we got under contract for, right? That same property that we got under contract, we had to put $30,000 in renovations. I took the $30,000 off of that $45,000 credit card. Well, when you do hard money lending, you have to float the construction, which means you got to put the money up first to start the project. So that $30,000, I pulled up the credit card. I gave it to the construction crew, the contractors. They did the work. Then now the lender sends out the inspector. The inspector sees the work is being done and reimburses me for the thirty thousand. I pay off the credit card. So now you got to understand strategy. I want you to understand strategy. Well, with the Chase Unlimited credit card, when you spend fifteen thousand dollars or more in the first ninety days, you get a seven hundred and fifty dollar cash back bonus. So because I spent thirty thousand dollars on that credit card and I was able to pay it right off, I got a free seven hundred and fifty dollars. Well, that seven hundred and fifty dollars is what I used to cover the minimum payment on those cards as we was actually going and renovating. So now no money out of my pocket. My cousin is no money out of his pocket. That same property we sold it for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Cash flow, right? So these are the things that, I mean, we sold it. We made $120,000 profit because we sold it for $220,000. So we made $120,000 profit off of that one, one deal. But now guess what? I'm making them believers again because they're seeing we got the funding. It was other people. We didn't put no money out of our pocket. We flipped it and we made profits. Now I gave my cousin $20,000. All right, let's reinvest. But before we reinvest, we need to get everybody else along. So what I also do now is I make sure that every single month we do a susu. And if you're from Africa, you're from the Caribbean, you understand this concept. But if you don't, it's when you come together collectively and everybody invests money every single month. And every month we take the pot and we invest towards somebody's financial development. So one month we took the money and we invested to get my aunt credit cleaned up. The next month we invested to get my brother his life insurance certification. The next month we invested to get my dad his private money broker certification. But every single month we take the money and we invest, whether it's mentorship, whether it's cleaning people's credit, whatever the case may be, we are making sure that we are advancing everybody's financial profile. This is the art of the family legacy blueprint. So I hope you are following me. It starts with you understanding that you need the information. That's number one. Information is key. You need to have integrity. So three eyes I break down. Information, integrity, and impact. Information is you getting in rooms, making sure that you learn. You are going through that process. Integrity is you being a man or woman of your word. Right? See, we get it twisted. We think that integrity is like telling the truth. It's two different things from integrity and in truth. So truth is you looking at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I need to go to the gym because I need to lose weight. Or I'm not healthy enough. I need to stay away from certain foods. 
You telling the truth is, yo, I need to change something about my finances. I need to get into this class. Yes, you're being honest with yourself, but do you have integrity? Because you're not following through on your truth. The integrity piece is you saying, this is what I need to do and let me go do it. So if you got information, go and implement and stay consistent. And now people are going to see that you actually are man or woman of your word. And now you build this influence, which creates impact. Because now that you have influence, now that you, you can actually pull people together. And now when you say what we're going to do, see, my family and friends that invest with me, they don't question me because they know my track record. I built the influence. I put money in people's pockets. We built wealth. Everybody's winning. So information, integrity, and impact. When you follow these strategies, this is how you put yourself in position to win. So we also talk about how to overcome objections, y'all. A lot of people get these, oh, I teach the financial family legacy blueprint. They say, yo, my family don't believe in me. You know, my family don't support me. Well, have you, have, do, you, do you really believe in yourself? That's a real question. I want you to think about that. Because if you truly believe in yourself, when there's an opportunity for you to invest and learn something that you've never learned so that you can do something that you've never done and be somebody you always wanted to be, you don't do it. And it's not because we don't have the capital. It's because we don't believe in ourselves enough to hold ourselves accountable, to know that if this do not work out, we lose the money. We don't want that level of accountability. Let's just be honest here. See, me, I invested. I invest because I want the accountability. I believe that if you give me the strategies, I'm going to go execute my better myself. Are you willing to believe? That's really the question. When you believe in yourself, you just walk different, you talk different, you move different, you glow different, and people see it and they gravitate towards you. You have to actually be the star of your movie. You have to actually take ownership of your life. You got to be the CEO of your last name. I want you to understand that. And until you really adopt being a CEO of your last name and you being the CEO of your own family first, they're not going to believe in you. Because you're doing the same thing. You said it to them last year and last year and last year. You keep saying what you're going to do, but you haven't done nothing different. So don't say it didn't work if you didn't actually do the work. Until you do that, None of these strategies that I'm teaching you will work if you don't show up and be the best version of yourself. So when you are speaking to your family, it shows the way you articulate yourself. So when I'm speaking to my family, they see how passionate I am, but they understand that I'm knowledgeable now because of the way I'm speaking and the, the level of conversation that I'm having. That's something you can't fake. That it's only can happen if you are really in the process and doing the work to develop yourself. That can only happen when you are really going through that journey. You got to be that. Number two, you have to be willing to be a student. You can't teach everybody. It's okay. Some people are going to teach you some things, and I'm talking about family and friends that I, I learned from. I lost some things, but I learned from family and friends what not to do. <laughs> like I learned what to do for the mentors, and some people I learned what not to do. So be a student either way. Learn from whoever you need to learn from, whether it's to do right, to do wrong, but you want to take a combination of that and now you implement it. That's what I want to share with you, right? And then the last thing that I'm going to share with you as far as, you know, after being a student, well, we have to understand that it's bigger than us. And you have to love your people, love your family, love your friends more than they love themselves sometimes. If you are a parent, you probably got a child, like my son the other day, he had an ear infection, right? And we had to give him some antibiotics so that he could actually, you know, overcome the ear infection. He said, no, dad, I don't want it. It's yucky, it's yucky now. The easy thing for me to say, oh, you don't want it? Go over there. But sometimes you got to love them more than they can love themselves because they don't understand. They don't know what they don't know. And that's my son. So he doesn't understand that he needs this medication to overcome this slight illness that he has. But I got to love him more and fight with him. I got to hold him down. I got to now play games with him. I got to now excite him around taking me. I got to love him. I got to put my arms around him even when he don't even understand it. He's no different even though he's two years old, one years old. I got two sons. But they're no different from somebody that's 40, 50, 60 because they still got that child mentality because they haven't been exposed to the things that you've been exposed to. So it's okay. 
love them more than they love themselves. And don't push them when they're not ready. I'll use my son again. Do I want him to run up and down the steps with me? And do I want him to go to the gym? Do I want him to play hoops with me? I can't, I'm excited. I can't wait till he could get in the gym and ball up with me. But if I just threw him the rock and told him to get in the ring, I heard him. He's not ready to do that yet. So don't push people before they are ready because you can actually put them further behind. If I give my cousin, who I know don't have financial responsibility, I give you a $50,000 credit card, I am actually hurting you more than helping you because that $50,000 could put you in a hole further than you when you started. So be okay with that. And once you develop these personal development skills, I promise you, this is just certain energy that's going to change. And this is how you now get to the level of conversation that we talk about in our community where we now utilize the capital and we go and get people, everybody in the family, life insurance. We get the oldest person in the family. We get them life insurance. And we, we build our own bank off of that insurance. And we make sure we park the money. We build the trust. We got a will, power of attorney. This is different conversations now. But you got to go through the foundation. See, what I did, I just broke down the foundation of building a family legacy. But there's so many levels to it. There's so many levels to it, but if you do not do these, one, these, these steps right here, we can't talk about trust. We can't talk about power attorney. We can't talk about wills. We can't talk about IULs, whole life, term life. We can't talk about mailbox, me and their banking. That's not even a conversation we can have. But when you follow what I'm telling you and you join our community and you get in the rooms and you're ready for it and you've shown a certain level of professional development, personal development, I'm telling you. That's how you're going to build 20 million in family wealth. I'm excited. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this out with a family member or friend that you think could benefit from this because you probably are struggling to give them the message. But if you share them this link, they probably take the message differently because I know how to articulate it. I come from it. I've been there. I've done it. My brother's a multi-millionaire. My other brother's a multi-millionaire. I built $20 million in family wealth. My wife is a millionaire. My son's a millionaire. Like, I'm the best person to talk about it. So please. If you know somebody that could benefit from this, make sure you share this link out, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode, Mogul Mondays. Let's get it.